I'm gonna show you how I create some cool double ganger, ganger photos like this one, this one right here, and even this one. So when I was doing this, uh, I used a different software many months ago actually, and it was uh, Artflow AI. And this was the video. So this was, I took uh, some pictures of my four month old daughter and created a little, um, I guess, short on those. And these are the images, They're, I mean, they look pretty good. I mean, going from something like this, a little four month old to that, a wizard, and I think that's it. Oh, and then working as an employee. So she was right here. So those were the uh, three images that I created from her. I'm actually going to create a double ganger of myself. So previously I was using artflow.ai, but now they've updated it to be I guess $8 or $9 for one actor. And uh, I used to have my own, I don't know what happened to it, uh, of my daughter, but um, you know, I'm now, this is all the pictures, I guess. Her is Barbie. Um, I don't know where, where my actor went, but it's gone for whatever reason. So now I'm gonna be using a new one and it's actually called Flux Aura, or Laura, I mean. And I'm gonna add images of myself to this. And so by adding images, uh, close up, uh, pretty close up of my face, different angles, different lighting. Um, it's going to create my AI doppelganger. I'm gonna show you the results of those. So I just downloaded a, a few images from Facebook and took a few pictures of myself right now. Uh, sent them to myself to make it really easy. And now I'm gonna download all of, the, or I guess upload all of these images into this uh, playground. And now I can train my model here. And so I have a few things here. I added 20 images. So the trigger word is gonna be Brandon Duff. Um, so it says your request will cost $2 per training run. Scales linearly for $2 you can run this model with approximately one time. So if I wanted to do it a little bit more, there's all sorts of options I can put. So, so now as you can see, I am training the model. It is in progress, so it's probably gonna take probably 30 minutes or so uh, for this model to be finished. You can see that it's embedding and doing all of the things, uh, whatever it is doing. So I will give you guys, show you the results here in a moment. So that was done and uh, really quick. I mean, it probably took 15 minutes. I can run my inference. And so <clears throat> now I can put Brennan Duff cooking sushi during a civil war event. I don't know, I just made something up off the top of my head. We'll just see what, uh, what it comes out with. So the request says your request will cost three cents per megapixel. For one dollar you can run this mo uh, model approximately 29 times. So that's pretty good. I mean, you can see that my, that looks like my head perfectly. Uh, I don't know about Civil War. I don't know, maybe let's try Brendan Duff riding a horse carrying the American flag with fireworks in the background, shooting off for fourth for Independence Day. Independence Day. All right, let's let's see what we can do. So we can have a few uh, steps. We can have some seeds, scales. I'm just gonna keep it all the same and see the results. So let's run it again. See, that's a little dark. I can't really, I mean, I, it kind of looks like me. Let's try it again uh, with a clear face. Face facing the camera. All right, let's try that. So you can do some really good videos, or not videos, pictures for thumbnails or for YouTube. I mean, that looks like me exactly, to be honest. Uh, pretty good. I mean, they even have sunglasses. Um, I, I would say that's pretty good. Um, Brandon Duff pointing to the ceiling like for a YouTube thumbnail. White background. 
uh, background. Let's let's see what it comes up with. That's the last one. I mean, even though it was a little bit dark, it uh, it definitely showed some great photos. I also took pictures that were maybe a little bit dark. So, I mean, this is perfect. Uh, I mean, I don't know what's on my ear. Like, I look like I got stabbed in the face or in the head with something. But um, pointing to the right. Let's just see what that says. I mean, these are pretty good. And then, I mean, what, it took me 15 minutes to uh, create these images. I, that is, I would think that would be me. Like, if someone took a picture of me, and like was like, hey, that that you did that that, and look at the hands. I mean, the hands are perfect. The arms uh, makes me look a little bit tubby, but um, yeah, I mean, this is solid. So I put fighting a lion, and I don't know who this is, but I mean, that looks like me, um, pretty close. Uh, this guy looks like he's kissing the lion, but uh, I'm not having that, no part of that. So we're gonna ask ChatGPT for some cool photos and I'm gonna see what uh, what it does. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna do Brendan on a high speed, uh, what was it, high speed motorcycle, chase through a cyberpunk city, dodging explosions. So we'll give that a go. And that is badass. So we're gonna save that one, that was a pretty good one. Let's see what else we have here. Brendan Duff in tactical gear on a mountain peak, watching alien spaceships. Eh, not not the best. I mean, this one was pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna say this one. This one looks badass. This one too. I mean, I mean, these are pretty good. I uh, asked ChatGPT to do more lighter photos, and as you can see, it looks pretty solid. Um, even this one, both are really solid. So I've come to realize using. ChatGPT's prompts are much better than things I can think of my own. They're much more detailed and give much better results. Uh, I'm to uh, give me a picture of a man riding a bike and that's all I have and it'll be very basic versus ChatGPT will give you a long sentence of the, all the details around it, which I love. And there's all sorts of tools that do this but this is how you can create your own doppelganger and very, very easily uh, with just a few pictures of your face. I literally just took my phone out, took like 15 photos of different angles around uh, my face and then uh, a different pictures from my Facebook and I cropped out everyone else and then put them, uploaded it to Flux Laura, and now I have my own doppelganger I can use for anything. So that's it, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, smash the like, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.